Well guys, tune you back again. Well, it's finally arrived. This is the PC Engine Analog Duo. I haven't opened it yet, so this is going to be the first unboxing. So, let's go for it. I don't want to mark the box or anything, because this, this knife is pretty sharp. I will be streaming this on the weekend as well, and um, I will do a review of the unit. Once I've had a bit of time with it, obviously do a proper review. So, let's have a look what's in the box. Okay. Got some cardboard packing. Quite a lot of cardboard packing. This thing is heavier than I was expecting. It definitely feels a lot heavier than I uh, thought it was going to be. Chuck that over there. So here we go, guys. There's bits all everywhere now. There it is. It's quite a fair size as well. So that's the duo. That's the pack in. Um, just a plain back back box with. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Duo over there. So let me get the knife back open again. I shut it because this blade on you is like super sharp. To the point I did slice my finger on it once, which was uh, no fun at all, as I found out. And get the blade back out. So, let's, uh, let's see if I can get this open without actually wrecking the box. Usually this stuff is once you've got it started, it's pretty easy to rip open. So, let's take all this off. Yeah, that's definitely heavier. It, it, it looks like the box is about the same size as an A3 file. In fact, it feels like an A3 file box. So, question is, all right, that's upside down. So, oh, it's like one of those by the Apple boxes where it's like, Super tight. That is a fairly damn nice box. Ooh, there it is. In all its glory. So, you get the unit itself. Oh, it feels nice. The unit itself feels very nice, actually. It feels quite uh, thin. Ooh, that's really thin. There's your CD slot and your cartridge slot. Nothing on that side. Uh, you got an SD card, your um, USB, uh, sorry, HDMI and two USBs, and USB power. They do suggest to use the power brick in the box. And then on this side then, we've got the original joypad port uh, for the PC Engine Japanese, or and the second gen sort of uh, American ports were a bit smaller. Um, headphone jack, volume rocker, and a button to sync, uh, sync your pads. Oh, this feels nice. Yeah, this feels very nice. It's, it's, sometimes when you pick something up and, um, you know, quality-wise, it does feel quality. i got to admit, all analog stuff is very nice. It's very nicely made. But yeah, nice rubber pad on the bottom as well with the analog logo. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, so there's, there's the Duo. Let's have a look what's in the box then. So we've got a plastic cover. Quite nice. And we've got the uh, PSU. If I put this to the back a minute, so you've got the PSU. Let's have a look what um, what power this PSU is. If I can, if I can see it, might not be able to see it. Um, oh God, yeah, that's small. That's going to be a bit tricky to see. Hang on, let me see if I can find. A I have Billy cataracts done, so it's like I need glasses now. See some really small stuff. See if I can have a look and see what that says. So that that is a DC five volt three amp power supply. The note can also output to two amps at nine volts, 
and um, 1.5 amps at 12 volts. Ah, so this is like one of these um, USB-C chargers you can pick up for running retro consoles with the various voltages and stuff. Okay, so that's like the only for obviously the UK. Um, it's got the dual plug, which won't plug into our plugs here. But I did come prepared. I bought one of these. This is a travel adapter. I've already got one for one of my other devices. And if I open this up, you can get these on Amazon. I think they were $8.99. I $8.99 or $9.99. Because uh, analog is saying to use the, the actual charger. And uh, what that gives you is one of these plugs. And um, you can basically, you can plug your um, two, pr two prongs straight into it. And this plug does a fair amount of ampage as well. It does, let's have a look, uh, 10 amp. So it can do um, one point, uh, it can be, it can do 120 volts at 10 amp, or it can do 200 volts at 13 amps. So this, you don't want to use a shaver adapter, bad idea, they're only one amp. But this one is like, uh, take the full ampage of the plug essentially. So I bought one of these in preparation ready. So that basically that'll just plug straight in the top and I can use the adapter. So that's that. Uh, so what we have here then, so this is your usual analog, uh, analog packing. So some sweets, don't need to mind, bad idea. Um, so you've got the original USB cable. USB-C is quite long as well, which is good. They they are suggesting that people are having problems using different USB-C cables where they're not rated for different ampage. I'm, I found that with certain things as well. So this looks like it's, I don't know, two meters. So maybe like uh, six foot, something like that, possibly. Well, no, probably less than that, actually, by the look of it. So hopefully that's going to fit where I needed to go. And then the last thing in the box box is uh, nicely molded uh, or you get these in here is literally uh, if I can get out is some FPGA stickers and a little quick start guide uh, which you probably just don't not gonna need to be honest but you get some you get some stickers if you want them I can put that back in there properly so there's the stickers, and then in here then, we've got, should be, the HDMI cable. They always do nice HDMI cables, analog stuff. Always nice USBs, always nice uh, HDMIs. So that's a nice, decent length uh, HDMI cable as well. So, that's everything in the box, guys. So I'll put that to the side. So yeah, so that's the actual unit. Looks very nice, feels very nice. Um, yeah, quite excited to play it. I'm playing this. I love the PC Engine. I know I have lots of other ways of playing the PC Engine. Ah, 2.4 gigahertz, Bluetooth, HDMI. So it says in there. That's calling back to the original Duo a little bit. Apart from it's on the side on the original Duos. But um, yeah, looks a sweet bit of kick, guys. So pretty much that's what we get in the box. So you got your charger, your charger. USB, your HDMI cable, and then obviously if you're in the UK, you're going to need this. Or power off something that can check out free amps, at least by the look of it. So, um, yeah. So, that's the PC Engine Duo. So, what you're going to do is probably catch me on Saturday night streaming this. I've got a load of originals here, so I'm going to be using originals on it. Uh, I will try s some uh, burnt backups and things like that on there as well. And see what happens. And I do have a... Um, I do have a pirated buddy um, Hue card from back in the day, years and years ago, which uh, I randomly came across. So I'll try that on there as well. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the stream. And once I've had a good time to have a good go over it, I'll do a proper review of it then as well. So hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and um, I'll catch you Saturday night. Ta-da!